Hi, welcome to LessonsWithTroy.com. Well, in today's lesson, I'm going to show you ways to help you memorize all the notes on your instrument. We're going to stay in the key of C major, and C major doesn't have any sharps or flats, so it's a little bit easier to work with. Okay, I'm going to take you through step by step, and we'll start off learning all the notes on your single strings. Okay, and then we'll take notes, and then we'll move these notes in different positions so that you know not only notes on one string, but you can play that same note on multiple strings. And also we'll work with octaves and um, hopefully by the end of this you'll be a lot closer to memorizing all the notes on this thing. Okay, let's get going there. Okay, so once again we're going to be working in the key of C and the key of C major um, is easy to work with because it doesn't have any sharps or flats. But a good way of thinking about the key of C is knowing where your half steps and whole steps fall. Okay, so what I like to think of is just where the half steps are. You have a half step in between E and F, and you have a half step in between B and C. Okay, that's everywhere on your instrument. So anywhere you have a B to a C, or even backwards, a C to a B, or an E to an F, those, are, those two are going to be right next to each other. Okay, for example, on your second string, open, Open to 1st fret is B to C. That's, those two are right next to each other. Okay, but C to D has a fret in between. So that's a good way once we start getting learning these ones on single strings, that's a good way of keeping in mind where these notes are. Okay, everything's going to have a fret in between except from E to F and from B to C. Okay, every, on every string it's going to be like that. Fret in between all your notes except B to C and E to F. Okay, well that being said, let's go and get started with that first string there. Um, that's a D string. Okay, and I'm in G, B, D for my sixth string. That's G, B, D, G, B, D tuning. Okay, so that first string, we're just going to go string by string. Let's start with this first string. It's a D. Okay, so in the key of C, we got D is open. It's a note D. Now also when, when I show you these, try to picture the actual letter name where we're playing here. So for example, if this is an open D, as I'm looking down here, and I'm looking at this open note, and I'm thinking about the open note, I'm actually thinking about the letter D right here too. That'll help you. I always visualize everything, so visualize a letter D right there. Anytime I tell you any of these notes, visualize the actual note sitting there. Okay, so the next note would be E, okay, and that's on your second fret, first string. Okay, your next note is F, and that's on your third fret, first string. Now another thing is, is I'm going to be going through the, the tab that, I, uh, that accompanies this video. So right now we're on measures 1 and 2. In your tab and if you if you don't have your tab printed out yet I suggest go ahead and print it out and set it on a stand in front of you and you can follow along too with that I've got the letters written in the tab and then above them I've got the actual letter name written above um, the tab so let's start again D's open E's on your second fret F is right next to that E remember E and F are right next to each other so there's F and there's G on my fifth fret 7th fret is A, Okay, ninth fret is B, 10th fret is C, and 12th fret is D. Okay, so if that sounds weird to you, it's because we're going from D to D in the key of C major. Okay, it's not a D, it's not going to sound like a major scale, it's going to sound a little bit different because we're not going from D to D and including certain sharps that would make it sound like a major scale. We're just keeping everything in the key of C so you can visualize it without any sharps or frets right now. Sharps or flats, that is. Okay, let's try it again. First string, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and D. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the second string. 